Nick in Philadelphia, PA, writes to me and he says, Hey there, I love your content. Hmm, <laughs> probably me and YouTube, right? <laughs> your perspective on audiophile subjects is grounded, which I find refreshing in a space that's rather, shall we say, passionate. Hmm, yes, I think you're right. Uh, it's really exciting to hear the plans for Octave Records. Yeah. And uh, I agree that DSD recordings sound better. But given DSD recordings um, sound better, even when converted to PCM, would you ever consider making a PCM version available for purchase? Uh, something akin to a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz version that could be downloaded directly? I'm asking because while I like DSD in principle, we found it to be rather cost prohibitive to upgrade our system to handle it. We are stuck with PCM content. Well, first off, thank you very much, Nick. Um, and, and we do. So every Octave Records release has a PCM version included with it. So if you download it, you get the PCM version, you get, I think we gave you um, 192, 176, and 441. I think you get three PCM versions that are seamlessly uh, converted from DSD, as seamless as you can get, and a DSD version. All that is available in the downloads already. So no, you're, you're, you're already covered, my man. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the problem with reproducing DSD in its native format. Almost every DAC out there has the capability. Every, every, most modern DACs can reproduce DSD. Part of the problem is that DSD is not native and not appreciated within computers. So a Windows computer or a Mac computer cannot natively handle DSD. To handle it, we have to change the format to something called DOP, which is DSD over PCM. And that basically is, when we say convert, it's not converting it in the same way that we convert DSD to PCM, which is running it through a low-pass filter. What we have to do there is, when we go to DOP, is we don't convert it at all. We just take a chunk of DSD, add a little bit of PCM header to it, and then move it along the pike. To the computer, it thinks, aha, PCM. Of course, it's not, but it thinks it is. And then we take another chunk, and then another chunk. And later on, we throw all those PCM headers away, and we recombine all the pure, perfect, unconverted DSD to, uh, back to DSD, and we can play it in our DAC. So, you can buy a very inexpensive DAC that plays DSD, not a problem. So you just have to know what to do and find a program like J River or Rune or um, Autorvana or um, what's Richard's program, BitPerfect. I mean, there's a number of programs out there. Uh, if you, if you uh, FUBAR, I think, does it as well. Any number of programs make it easy to convert something that is acceptable to a computer to where you can run it on the cheap and get pure DSD. But specifically, yes, Octave Records will always be DSD. Even though we convert it back and forth, it has to be recorded in DSD in the first place. That's critical because that recording process in its native DSD is fast. And whether it's uh, 2x, 4x, 1x, DSD recordings once they're made, everything is captured. And then we can easily convert it to something like PCM and back again without too much, uh, almost no loss whatsoever. But you got to start with DSD. Okay. Thanks for the question. I'll talk to you later.